I'm Travis Champion. I'm a restaurateur from Montreal. I have some ties to uh, to Brockville and Prescott. I used to go to, to high school not far from here, so that's why that's why I've kind of I've almost come back home. I like things messy. I like things full of flavor. I like things big. So when you come to eat here, you're not gonna find many things that are you know, going to be dainty, I guess would be the word. You're gonna find things that are going to be big and messy. I won't divulge too much information as far as what I put in the in uh, the rub or, or the flour mixture that I have, but I, I, I basically take a flour mixture and I add some herbs and spices to it, much in the same way that uh, the Colonel uh, at KFC would do, except mine's a little bit different. Uh, so I dredge them ever so lightly, not a ton, so you're not gonna get like anything crispy. It's just, I like a little dredge because it holds the sauces a little bit better. So I have, I have a few different types. I have one that is uh, salted honey. I have a barbecue one that's got a bit of a smoky flavor to it. And I have what's called a franch, which is uh, franks and ranch mixed together. Nothing too hot and spicy, just really good solid flavors. So it's just a pretty simple chili. I uh, just ground up some, some meat with some onions and garlic some spices, mostly cumin, and paprika, stuff along those lines. I make it pretty hot. I wouldn't say inferno hot, but pretty hot. And again, it's one of those things where you, there's no way to pick up this hot dog without it just being messy, but it's just full of, of this, this incredible ingredients. So it's, we have cheese, chili, and onions, and this bun. I, I buy these wonderful hot dogs. Uh, they're big, massive quarter pound pieces of hot dog. So we're not messing about. Like it's it's a big size portion. You're not gonna find the little the little hot dogs you get at the grocery store here. These ones are these ones are pretty sizable. So we'll be having a golf cart out there every single day. It's just it's just so convenient to have that out there. Um, you know, we'll have a variety as much as we can of different cocktails of different uh, beers as well. And one of the things that we're doing um, is we're installing the ability to be able to create and serve a cocktail out of our, uh, out of our, um, our tap system. So we're gonna do what's called a drunken Arnie, which is a mixture of iced tea, lemonade, and vodka. And so you can get that on tap. We basically, we send you on your way in a cup full of ice, you just take it on your golf cart and go. So it'll be a, it'll be a great addition to the typical draft beer and whatnot, we're, we're going to add that on our list of cocktails. One of the, the things that we're going to try and do here is create a bit of a night vibe as well. So Fridays and Saturday nights, we're going to be offering up uh, specials uh, to keep people here later, doing the best that we can to find ways to entertain them, whether it's karaoke, a band, comedians, whatever it is that we just want to be able to create a vibe here Fridays and Saturday nights and keep it open a little bit later. For instance, every Friday will be our, our chicken wing night. We'll be serving many different chicken wings until about 10 p.m. So the weekends we're hoping to to drive in some people that perhaps are out on the boat, maybe they're camping um, or finished around and want to hang out here for a while. Or maybe it's a destination for the family to come down and hang out and just have some wings. We'll be serving pizzas as well, nachos, all these things. Just you know, some typical pub fare at a golf course, but we really want to take advantage of the fact that it's just beautiful around here and it's quiet and we want to maybe make it a little more livelier. 